They're good for ridding your garden of bugs or oh. flying onto plants. <laughs> how's that for? How's that for an introduction? Yes. Right. <laughs> We'll be right we'll back be talking with about this next or now. Cooped <laughs> 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 up in those feathers, and off he goes out of the camera. And <laughs> Do we, we'll keep it going. <laughs> That's gonna, we'll put that at the end. Coming up to make sure that these animals. Ooh. 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 Hanging out with the cows, they're looking pretty good and chowing down, grabbing breakfast there. It's, it's staring at me, so hopefully uh, I don't make it mad. Uh, hit it on the head, see if that works. There we go. Anyways, we have some cloud cover here this morning. Dan hewan-hewan di sini bebas untuk berjalan di mana saja supaya sentiasa sihat dan cergas. It's all happening tonight, so... Whoa, okay! And Lukey over here, he's doing just... No, don't want to be in it? <laughs> in the middle school... But, but sorry. Right now, the meeting is scheduled for the 7.30. Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh! So the system pulling away right now, and the sunshine increasing, and there is a dog behind me. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a very enriching experience for the animals because this is all new. This is brand new to them. There's new sights. There's new smells. So you've got to visit this exhibit. Lammy is 39 years old in Johannesburg. Lammy... Oh! <laughs> we think they'll do perfectly fine. And they're just playful, sweet, too. She was purring when she was sick. <laughs> and an acrobat, too. So. It moved the, the actual... <laughs> Are you okay? What, I miss? what just flew? Did something... I am. I was dive bombed by a pigeon. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and good morning. I'm Heather Lake. We're at farm camp. If you haven't heard of it, well, the SD Humane Society is putting on a brand new summer camp, and we're going to tell you what it's... <gasps> Still some stubborn overcast here over the city. Look at this. <laughs> He's he totally checking out the camera, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, this is I'm, so cool. Yeah. Like a pro. I might need a little more time for this weather segment to just to, because we have a little visitor. <laughs> For six years, Tiffany Huffman's remains were in a rural field in LaGrange County. Police say what they discovered. Oh, hi. Uh, hi, guys. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Three, okay. Three, two, one. And today, three of WWE's biggest stars meeting with some of the forever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like a pretty girly smell? Yeah. Okay, this is the pomegranate. After I pet a camel, yeah, I want to smell a little girly. But you know what? Their saliva is good for you. That's what I say. Really? So, yeah. So does it help keep you young? Yes, it does. All right. I'm 85. Lick me, baby. Okay, that was so inappropriate <laughs> for morning TV. But that's okay. You're new. All right, it is Tuesday, and it's time for our pet of the week. And I know another good option that people can uh, volunteer to help out fosters, right? We're yeah. always looking for fosters. So anyone who is interested in Lanny or wants to come by and check out our brothers or sisters or any of the other dogs, uh, any of the cats, where do they go to find the information? Hopefully someone will come to the animal shelter. And they can get a bunch of kisses and fall in love. Or the Potawatomi Zoo is celebrating the holiday season. With the gift of She's lights. ready, though. Stand by. Now through December 23rd, you and the family can walk through the zoo. <laughs> Okay, she sneeze on you a little bit. <laughs> There's something happening at the zoo. Melissa's here with more. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, we're, we're hanging out with the alpacas this morning. I need to get more food. <laughs> um, Police have confirmed that a big cat spotted by residents in East Ayrshire is not a black panther. An expert has been unable to confirm exactly what type of cat triggered a search that involved a police helicopter. It was spotted around quarter to nine this morning. Somebody's making me laugh here. In fields near the B730 between the villages of Drongan and Cole Hall. No, there's a bit of confusion in the gallery. I'm just waiting for instructions here. Humans can actually eat this, right? Yes, Humans can. It's all human-grade ingredients. And what flavor is that? Well, my favorite is strawberry and apple, so okay. and you here know, I'll we eat, go. I'll eat anything. Give so. it a try. Yeah. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Really good. I mean, it tastes like ice cream. What's the taste? Oh, he likes that one, too. He likes it, too. It's like yeah. a sorbet, so... You know what I think it is? It's those hot temperatures that we've been experiencing here in Southern California. Is that he just as wants well. to pull off. Oh, you want me to taste it? Ready? <laughs> <Try> it. <laughs> 
Maybe try it before your right? dog has it rather it's than after. You want some? Oh, I have it all the time. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Mm. It's really, really good. She bought a ticket for her peacock, Dexter, so he'd have his own seat on the flight from Newark to Los Angeles. United says the big bird didn't meet guidelines for size and weight and that they'd told the passenger ahead of time. Dex, get home. <laughs> he didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. she's snorting. Full fledged snort this morning. She's snorting I'm there, sorry. Paul. <laughs> She's snorting. Tell me about your peacock. Oh, no, no. We're going to leave you up on camera for as long as possible, Michelle. I think. Uh -huh. Take me remember, all the, remember all the grief you were giving me about the Vikings and the Eagles? Uh huh. It's coming hey, back to haunt you. Yeah. time. Oh, man. All right. Before we go, we want to introduce you to Logan, who is definitely getting some tips from Garfield. Logan is a 31 pound cat <laughs> <laughs> lives in New Hampshire Hotel. Stop. <laughs> the eight year old is triple the weight of an average cat. He spends his days. <laughs> Wobbling! I can't. It's one of the best Western. This reminds me of anger management. His name is Meatball. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and he's eating your crab cakes right now. I Have can't. A good night, I can't. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie is an 11 foot high. Oh, yeah, he's so nice. Look at him. Oh, there he is. Reggie's 11 foot python here at the Eco Vivarium in Escondido, known as the Living Museum, the place that you can touch and hold and interact with reptiles just like Reggie right here. What you're seeing is actually a dog. <laughs> Um, coming into our live shot, I think it's a dog. I'm not sure, um, but uh, anyway, <laughs> there's some sort of creature below me, and uh, really all that's been affected is what's supposed to be a road right below my feet, and it's just basically covered in mud, but other than that, uh, there's not much damage to report, so some great news. Jenny Hardman is tracking traffic. We noticed down here that the roads weren't too bad. Um, how are they looking throughout the rest of the day? Yes, and Morgan, I hope that's a dog too. Uh, if not, go get in the truck. Yeah, Chase is freaking crossed. out. He doesn't think it's a, it's a dog, so maybe go check. Pure puppy. He's about a six to seven month old Schnauzer mixed puppy. He sees himself in the uh, camera now, so he's very excited about that. But he's almost full grown. He's a, a wonderful dog. But, uh, very wonderful. <laughs> He can see himself in the air. <laughs> yes, he's barking because he can see himself, and sometimes it's right. <laughs> Live TV, folks. <laughs> what kind of thing are you looking for, He loves to go for long walks and play with other dogs and everything. So he's, he's, he just doesn't like seeing his own picture on TV. So. <laughs> All right, come here, Shay. You look at there. You don't even have any bars to jump nope. over. <laughs> oh no, she wants to go over here. <laughs> come on. No, nope, she's following you. All right, we're gonna get the gold here this morning. Come on, Cheyenne. I need to fix the leash on you. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Through. Come on. Just jump nope. her right over here. Nope. <laughs> the bars are all down. The bars are down. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Go through the red tunnel. All right, through the red tunnel. Come on, Cheyenne. Through. No, or, or around, you know. Up on the dog too. Okay, <laughs> so we'll try over here. On the dog walk. There you go. Good no. job. <laughs> and over, over the jump. Okay, well, over. I think she wanted my eyes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah. what do you think? What type of family are we looking for for Kara? Um, an active family. They could have another dog. She does great with other dogs. I had no issues. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> that is the magic of live television. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still um, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Kara had a healthy up. Maybe that's why Kara was active. <laughs> it's all right, Kara. So she has a very healthy diet. And uh, she is available for adoption. Oh, okay.
So if you would like to take this gorgeous dog home, <laughs> just come on down today. <laughs> you guys. This is what you've been missing. I told him that it was my first day anchoring and the birds laughing at me. Yes, I guess so. so oh my gosh. What do we have here? Uh, we have here, he is called a laughing super girl. Okay. As you can hear. They are native to Australia. And you can find them in all habitats. So what you're hearing right now is a territorial call. Okay. And this call is primarily dusk and dawn. Okay. 